What's up guys, Adam Middlesworth here. Welcome to my YouTube channel. In today's video, I'm gonna go over how to get three to five real estate leads every single day without Zillow, Realtor.com, Trulia, or any of those other websites, right? So we're gonna go over step-by-step -step how you can do this. And so um, the first step is just choosing your audience, right? Who do you want to go and target? What niche do you want to go after? The second is creating an offer, right? So selling the dream of buying a home, whether that be actual homes or financially, what can they do to get into the home? And then from there, what is your conversion mechanism, right? So are you doing messenger? Are you doing the lead forms? Are you doing landing pages? Are you sending them directly to your website? What does that look like? And then on the back end of that, what does your follow-up look like, right? So if you don't have one of those four steps right, you're probably not going to be successful with your Facebook ads, right? If you have a good ad but not a good landing page, then you're not going to be successful. If you have a good audience but not a good ad, your ads aren't going to be successful. So it's really important that you get each of these steps right, okay? So we're going to dive right into Facebook Ads Manager here. And so the first step is creating your audience, right? Who do you want to target with your ads? Are you looking at first-time home buyers? Are you looking at um, you know folks who are looking to upgrade from their home? Maybe they have uh, a two or three bedroom and they're a growing family and they are looking for a four or five bedroom house. Uh, are you looking at people who are a little bit older who um, you know maybe they have a four or five bedroom house but all their kids are kind of out of the house and they look they need to look to downgrade from their home. Who are you looking for, right? And then what are you looking for financially? Are they uh, are you in a higher end market? Are you in an, a market where you're around the average home price? What does that look like, right? So that's really important uh, before you get into the targeting to really map out your demographic so that you can go after these folks, right? So a couple key things to look at with your audience. You want to choose people who live in this location. And we're just going to choose, let's do, um, let's do Lafayette, Indiana for kicks. All right, so we've got Lafayette here. We're gonna do just a 15 mile radius, just because I know the area a little bit. And then we're gonna do age range. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go after first time home buyers. Um, it's just an area where I get a lot of questions asked about it, uh, both from loan officers and real estate agents. So we're just gonna go with that. What I like to do for first, first time home buyers, I like to keep it around 26, 27, 28. All right, so in Indiana, I know you could buy a home for um, a little bit less, and, and you can typically buy it a little bit sooner in life. So I would do 25 or 26, and then I would go into this um, and choose 40 at the max, right? Um, you're probably going to get a, a pretty good range there. And then what I would do is I would go and look up you know, Zillow and all of those types of interests. You got Trulia. House hunting, homes.com, first time home buyer, um, homes.com, you've got starter home, and then I would go into the mortgage stuff, so mortgage loans, pre approval, um, single family detached, real estate, uh, what else would I do? First time home buyer grant, and then you can look at the interests and just type in mortgage here and see what comes up. Because usually you'll want to do like mortgage broker and things of that nature. Mortgage bank. This one. So you got all of those, right? And then we've got about 20,000 people in our list. And what I also want to do is go and exclude real estate agents. So we've got National Association of Realtors. That excludes about 3,000. That'll probably be, um, I also do brokers here as well, just in case. So looks like we've got 17,000. I'm gonna go back up here and expand this to 20. Let's see what we get, right? So we've got about 20,000 people and that's okay, right? Um, in previous videos, I, I showed you what audience size is best. Um, and really it doesn't matter as long as you're getting good results. So for first time home buyer, this is a good starting point. Um, I, I basically included a lot of interest targeting here. And what you can do is go and test these individually. So what you could do is you can go and test three to five at a time. 
and see what works um, and then exclude one see what happens so there's a lot of testing that can go into it um, but if you're brand new you can just kind of lump in everything which is what most people do anyway so we're going to stay with that the other thing you, you can do is, is exclude people who recently moved um, the only problem with that would be you are excluding people who recently moved but you don't know if they're renting or buying right so if they've recently moved um, but they might want to buy it in Lafayette right if they're not if they're not uh, from that area they might want to buy a home and if you exclude recently moved then you could potentially lose out on business that way so we're gonna stick with that that is step one is creating your audience making sure that you've got all of these criteria right you've got people who live in Lafayette all of the buyer interests for real estate and then excluding real estate agents you can go, even go in here and do job titles and all that stuff I'm just not gonna mess with it because it gets most of it by doing that and you'll choose your budget we're just gonna click continue here and at this point this is when you need a really good offer so um, what you would do is you would do a couple different things right you could do a list of homes and that could be anything right you could do uh, a list of homes that are on the market right now um, you could do a list of homes in a certain price range you could do under a certain price range you could do specific type of homes right so like uh, farms you could do um, you know if you're in the Chicagoland area or like a downtown Metroplex you could do homes with a really good city view if you're uh, you know on a coastline uh, you could do homes with an ocean view you could do lakefront properties you could do all sorts of things right homes with a backyard for your dogs homes with a backyard for your kids um, you can just let your imagination go wild with lists of homes um, and then there are lending type campaigns right so if you've got a first-time home buyer who doesn't think that they can afford a house because they think they have to put in 20% down, then you can obviously do 10%, you can do 5%, 3%, 3.5% .3 FHA, whatever you want to do there, right? That would be your offer for them because they don't think they can purchase a home. Um, you could also do self-employed uh, for people who, you know, have both the... Um, both spouses are self-employed and they probably don't think that they could purchase a home because they've been told it's really hard. You could do a 10% uh, self-employment uh, lending program for them. You know, you can kind of let your imagination go wild there for the offer. So that is what would be here. So like you would do, um, you would do either a listing or a list of homes. So you could do attention Lafayette. Who's looking to purchase a home in 2019 question um, tap here to get a list of homes under whatever and then you would you would put the link here if you have a landing page uh, you could also do tap learn more below that kind of thing right and then you would do a statement about the list of homes so uh, I'm just going really fast here. We've compiled a list of homes under two hundred, or excuse me, under two hundred thousand dollars. I usually do one ninety nine, and then you do the same headline, <clears throat> and you would choose an image. So you can go to upload images, or you can do free stock images. Uh, so I don't have an Indiana home, so I would do Indiana house <laughs> and then you'll get some free stock photos right uh, if you have homes if you got a list of homes something like that you can definitely do that I'm just going to choose one of these really quickly so this is your attention asset so first you've got the audience so first-time home buyers first-time home buyers can probably afford a home under 200,000 so we're going to choose that right attention uh, who's looking to purchase a home in 2019 uh, homes under 200k uh, we've compiled that list and so here you've got the attention asset what you need is a conversion mechanism so either a landing page uh, a lead form within Facebook or messenger ads my preference would be messenger ads or lead forms so a messenger ad would essentially be hey um, if they're interested they're gonna click on learn more here right and it would go straight to messenger we can deliver that information 
And then what's cool is we can ask questions regarding their home purchase. So if it's in this case, we can send them a list of homes under 200 and then ask what are they specifically looking for so that we can set them up with a home search or, um, you know, hey, can you get pre-qualified or whatever, right? Um, I have linked uh, that video, how to qualify real estate leads with Messenger Bot below. It is in the description. If you want to watch that, I'd highly recommend it. The other way I would recommend is lead forms. So we can grab their name, email, phone number, and then we can shoot them an email with whatever they requested. So if it's a list of homes under 200, we'll shoot them an email with that list. And then from there, you can follow up via email, phone call, or text. Uh, the other way is a landing page. So a landing page is a one-page website where they either enter their information or not, right? So they're going to say, hey, I'm interested. Here's my name, email, phone number, or not. Um, I don't like landing pages as much anymore because you get a ton of fake information. With that said, I would always test those three versions. If you're sending them to your website, you're probably losing leads. So stop sending them straight from a, an ad or even an organic post straight to your website. You're probably losing out on 5, 10, 15% of the leads you could be getting. So that's kind of the steps, right? So you got the audience, you've got the attention asset or what they're looking for, so list of homes, lending program, uh, and then you've got your conversion mechanism. The last step would be follow-up. So for us, what we do a lot of is messenger ads, right? For me and my clients, uh, messenger ads, and then straight into Facebook messenger bots. Again, I'll link that in the description below so you can see what those look like. Uh, that is by far the best. We're getting 95% open rates or better. We're getting 70% response rates or better. Far outbeating text messaging, phone call, and email. Uh, but with that said, you can go and grab their phone number within Messenger. You can go and grab their email within Messenger. So, And, and it's usually better information because it's auto-populated from their profile, which is pretty cool. So that is how to get three to five real estate leads without Zillow, Realtor.com, or Trulia, or any of those other websites. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you want more real estate and mortgage related marketing content, make sure that you subscribe by clicking the red subscribe button below. And I look forward to seeing you guys in the next video.